oceans have historically provided a vast supply of seafood to feed the world's ever-growing population. However, the reality of overfishing means that we're now turning to aquaculture to meet the demand in a more sustainable way. Despite this increase, fish are often overlooked in animal welfare monitoring and legislation. Therefore, as aquaculture continues to grow, fish welfare also needs to improve. Fish are frequently facing stressful situations in aquaculture facilities. If the fish considers a certain situation as threatening, a physiological response is initiated to help the fish cope. However, prolonged stress can cause long-term behavioural, reproductive and immunological changes which severely compromise fish welfare. Assessing stress levels is vital in aquaculture and this is usually done in research by measuring cortisol in the bloodstream. However, this may not be a reliable method in cases of prolonged stress because fish can habituate and cortisol levels drop. So how can we measure chronic stress levels in fish in a reliable manner? The Wellfish Project aims to characterise the gilthead seabream stress response and identify molecular markers of compromised welfare. This is done by using a multiomics approach to explore the impact of stress on genes, proteins and metabolites at different organs and body fluids. This approach will help develop rapid, standardised and accurate tests to assess the welfare of farmed fish in the future.